you know, we struggle so hard to make profits in salons. Um, and we do that invariably by looking at the turnover within the business. We look at um, new ways of getting clients through the door. But, you know, there's other ways um, that you can make money, make put more money on the bottom line. And when was the last time you actually did an audit log on your business? Think about it. When was the last time you... Um, called your um, credit card machine, um, whoever you know, supplies your credit card machine, when was the last time that you called them and asked them for a discount? Hopefully, you know, if your business has grown or you've, you know, you've maintained good levels of business, then um, you could probably put that business out to tender. When was the last time you went to a different manufacturer and just, just tried to find out what your value is? You know, you might use, I don't know, L'Oreal or you might use Schwarz, Coft Colour. Um, why don't you go to one of the other manufacturers and see what they would offer you? And that gives you a good negotiation tool then to go back to your regular supplier and say, look, well, for example, you know, if it was L'Oreal, you could say, well, Schwarz, Coft has offered me this. Have a look at every little aspect of your business and just see if there's a way of saving money. I did this with a friend of mine's salon not so long ago and he saved over $900 a year purely in credit card terminal um, savings. And um, you know to generate that sort of money and put that on your bottom line as profit you'd have to increase your turnover by a considerable sum and get quite a few new clients through the door. So just a little thought. While I was driving, I just thought I'd quickly uh, grab a video camera and do this video for you. And just think about ways that you could just trimline your business a bit and help you put a little bit more profit on your bottom line. This is Steve Winder for hairbizsecrets.com. Take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye for now.